Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and today we have a very different type of video on the channel. So usually I don't do these exploit videos, but since this is the first day of the launch of Total War Troy, and I have already found a way to break the game, I feel it's probably best I share it on the channel. And what I have found is that there is a way to gain infinite resources without doing anything, even on turn 1. And the term infinite is loosely used here. Because technically, if you use this exploit every single turn, you will have infinite resources. But every turn, you are restricted by how much resource your allies are holding to use this exploit. And this exploit will work as long as you have friendly factions. So, if we pop into Diplomacy here, we can see all the factions that are near us, and we can rank them by their attitude. And anyone that's at least friendly to us, the exploit will work. And playing as Hector here, we have a lot of really good friends. Starting out with our father, Priam of Troy. We are trusted friend. These are the highest form of friendship you can have in the game. And if we come in here for a deal, there's two types of deal in Total War. There is bartering agreements, and there are single barters. So bartering agreements are long-term deals that can range from 5 turns to 10 turns and it's exchange of per turn goods for each other and single barters like it sound is a lump sum payment that is exchanged right away so they have these two forms here and the exploit uses the interactions between these two types of barters to create a situation where you can generate infinite resources depending on what they have so here they only have 2400 food 100 bronze and 185 gold we can't get any wood or stone from them because they don't have any so we can try to get all of this from them and all we have to do is offer them a gift of one food notice how this one food for five turns which is the minimum amount of items you can give in a barter agreement is automatically valued at 6.0 because the diplomatic valuation here sees that you're not demanding anything for this deal, so this is classified as a gift. We can conversely offer him one gold. That's still a gift, but gold is much more valuable than food in the game, so the most efficient way is simply offer one food, and you get the exact 6.0 in terms of gift valuation. Let's click yes, and you can see that we can give this to him for a gift and in most total war games what will happen when you give him a free gift is you get improved relationship but we don't want that we want resources so now for our demands we're going to demand single barter we're going to ask for what he has and notice here no matter what we ask for immediately the values start dropping to about 0.4 or 0.3 if it's gold that's because gold is slightly more valuable but the whole idea here is it doesn't drop to zero. Because you see what the game is doing when we have one food for return, it's, it's converting that gift into what's called a complex treaty. And it's evaluating this treaty now as no longer a gift, but a sort of give or take between a per turn deal and a lump sum deal. And the system is confused because it's no longer valuing your one food for five turn as one food for five turn. It's valuing it as a gift. It does cancel out the six points of value, but it doesn't cancel it out completely, which means I can do stuff beyond this point as though the deal is even. Here's what I mean. One food for five turn is equal to five food, correct? It's evaluating the last four food I added as the value of four food. If you're confused what that means, let's cancel out this deal. Let's just ask him for four food. Notice how it doesn't move up because food is worth so little, it takes a ton of food before you even get that one point of value. Let's see where that limit is. He's very happy to give us free food because we're his son and we're very good friends. Okay, we found it. So around 750, he start demanding 0.1. If we go back and restore our deal, and here we demand 
750. It changes the value quite a bit, right? It's smart enough to know that this deal is not worth it, but we can ask for 50, we can ask for 250, or we can't, but there is a high amount of food we can ask back. And it gets even worse because you can ask for gold, which is a very valuable resource in the game. So we can add for four gold and we can still get at least our you know, initial investment of food back. Look at this deal. Something is wrong here. It's a very small incremental gain, but nevertheless, you're gaining. And it's not even a type of loan. Usually in a loan, you get an upfront payment and there's a repayment. But the repayment amount is going to be greater than the loan. We're getting a loan, but we're getting six food right away and four gold for the promise of eventually five food. This is the best type of loan you'll ever find in the world. So you say yes to this deal I am most and you're very happy with yourself. But you can easily come back and this deal is repeatable. Until they run out of resources. Eventually, as you take more resources, they're going to be low on it and they're going to be asking you more and more for it. But still, you can empty them out pretty much every turn. And this is for a trusted friend. You get six point of value. So you might be thinking, what happens if I don't have a trusted friend? Because not everyone has a dad that's the king of Troy. Well, you just go back to your menu. So let's go down to someone who doesn't have such a green face with us. So let's talk to... Maybe just... Let's talk to Aeneas. Aeneas is the very homes. friendly. The gods maybe very I friendly mean. is also six points. Okay. Very friendly is not six points. Very friendly is four points. So you think we lost two points of value. That's actually not true. When we do a reset from a gift of 4.0 all the way to a complex treaty, what happens is we still have 0.4 value. Sometime when you drop to friendly, you might have 0.2 value. But even if you have 0.2 value, you can get much more than what you deserve. Look at this. Aeneas has 20 gold and he's willing to trade us it was getting ridiculous all right we're getting 20 food and 13 gold for one food for five turns that's because the ai is not evaluating this as one food for five turns they're evaluating this as a gift you show great so with some patience you can empty out all your allies on turn one, on turn two, on turn three, anytime you need resources. Just talk right, to a friendly let's face. Negotiate. Friendly. Offer one food. 4.0. But he's not very friendly. So look at the reset. Now, this is more reasonable, right? But as long as you maintain good friends, you can get his resources. So for him, all we can do is get a little bit extra food. Okay, a little bit of extra food. Oh, that's because our offer bugged out. Even the system doesn't want us to do this deal. But I still think it's 12 food. We still come out ahead here. It's a hassle because he doesn't have a lot of food. Maybe he would have accepted more wood. So let's pick a resource that he's actually interested in acquiring. It doesn't really matter here, but maybe you'll give us a little bit more points because we can actually experiment here a little. We get point one. Okay, so we can actually play around with the resources, but I still think food is the best way to go. You can offer up to 1,700 food if you want. So you can repeat these deals 1,700 times before you have to stop. And you can easily use the gold you gained to trade back for food per turn. Right? We go back to King Priam and we, we reverse the deal on him now. Instead of giving him a gift, we offer him one gold and we ask for food back. And guess how much food we can get back? Fifty? Forty-five? Let's say 43, 42. 
43. That means we can get this deal done. We have 43 more gold that we can go in and trade for his other resources. Repeat these deals. And eventually we can play around with the math and empty them out. It has to do with the error with the bartering agreement being treated as a gift if you just enter in a bartering agreement with only an offer and then you can get lump sum from uh, on top of that. So that's kind of the exploit that I have found uh, on day one and it's already been reported so uh, we'll let it be known. So hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!